This is a production of Cornell University. A visit to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology often includes a leisurely walk in Sapsucker Woods Sanctuary. But there's something new perched along the trail that begins just across from the lab's main entrance driveway. That's so cool. Yeah. That's amazing. How long did that take them to do? The stone cairn was built by British artist Andy Goldsworthy and funded by the Andrew D. White Professor at Large program at Cornell University. Goldsworthy is internationally acclaimed for sculptures made of stone, wood, leaves, clay, ice, and other natural materials. Some projects are meant to exist for only a short time, while others, like the Sapsucker Cairn, should be around for a while. I think it's absolutely unique, one of the kind. Quiet, peacefulness. Yep, it's very meditative. Yep. The raw material for the Sapsucker Cairn arrived at the end of March, 10 tons of locally quarried stone. Teetering stacks of stone had to be carefully unloaded and then hauled to a bit of high ground in a quiet corner of the woods. Lab staff prepared the site and installed the large stone base. Goldsworthy arrived April 14th and set to work with a handful of students and the Cornell stonemason. He works each piece of stone, judging how its size, weight, strength, and texture will fit into the finished piece. Cornell senior Shern Kier has worked with Goldsworthy on several projects and admires the artistry and the engineering. I mean, he's, he's got such a good eye. You know, he can look around at all the stone that's scattered around him and um, just sort of see them and, like, stop. And he'll grab the exact stone that he wants and start working it with his hammer. Goldsworthy has built cairns of various sizes all around the world, but this may be the last one he makes. Goldsworthy says he's taken the form as far as he thinks it can go. The cairns mark places that have personal meaning for the artist, and they also bear witness to the inevitable changes brought about by time, an important theme in Goldsworthy's work. He told us uh, in his lecture that he thinks of this form as being like a journey marker or a guardian, and... <laughs> So, for example, he, he's built one near his home village in Scotland, and so it's really special to me that there's one here in the woods. After the work was finished, Lab of Ornithology Facilities Director Bob Grotke found a small box left on the cairn by an unknown visitor. And opened the lid, and inside was a little piece of tissue paper, nicely rolled up, and just said thank you. In it. The sculpture marks the end of Goldsworthy's eight years as an A.D. White professor at large. During his final lecture, Goldsworthy thanked Cornell students for all the effort they put into this project and many others over the last eight years, and he promised to come back. At the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, I'm Pat Leonard.